So our achievements are inherently limited by our capacity to envision them. And so oftentimes we employ our imagination against ourselves, right? We, we lead those and doing those things leads to self-fulfilling prophecies. So we predict failure. Guess what? Failure becomes a reality. So what if we changed our thinking? What if our thoughts propelled us forward instead of holding us back? Welcome to the Workforce Link podcast, where we're offering forward thinking conversations for the workforce, linking employers and job seekers to a brighter tomorrow. I'm your host, Sunday Joe Graham, and I am happy to be back with you for another episode of the Workforce Link podcast. But even better, I'm glad to be back for another season, season six to be exact. And we have a great season ahead of us. We have got some great topics we're going to cover and some really fun interviews in this season. So, so thankful that you are joining me again. And if you are new to the podcast, welcome. So happy to have you here as well. Question for you. When was the last time you took a stroll down memory lane, you know, flipping through childhood photos? It can really be an intriguing experience to uh, encounter your younger self with shorter, darker hair, maybe a slightly different face. Yet maybe that mischievous grin and that spark of determination is still in your eyes. It's remain unchanged. Well, the same can be said for the rest of us. Some aspects evolve while others endure. However, it's essential to remember that who we were does not dictate who we can become. I'm going to say that again. Who we were does not dictate who we can become. The essence of being human, it lies in our ability to shape our future. Change can be beautiful and you have the power to make transformation happen. You have the power to make transformation happen. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about exactly how to do this. Before we dive in, though, I would love to ask a favor. Make sure you share this episode with others. The more you share, the more people we get to help. And so thank you in advance for doing that. And feel free to leave a review and tell us what you love about today's episode. Now, let's get to today's episode on how to unlock your potential and embrace change. So the first thing you want to do is alter your course. So consider the current trends in your life, your spanning health, your relationships, your work, your finances, those aspects that matter most to you. And imagine these trends continuing largely unchanged for the next, say, 10 years. Then ask yourself this question. Where does that path lead you? And is that truly where you want to end up? So for most people, that's a mixed bag, right? Their current trajectory may lead to a thriving career, but maybe a broken marriage or strong relationships that are ruined by declining health. We all have areas in our lives where we achieve success and we have areas in our lives that we'd like to improve. And the good news is that we have the ability to make those changes. The most effective way to change your course is by setting goals. If you've been part of this podcast for the last six seasons, you know I talk a lot about setting goals. They're so important. Goals serve as the compass guiding your focus and effort. So if you find yourself consuming too much fast food, then set a goal to try 20 new recipes maybe this quarter. If excessive screen time is a concern for you, maybe aim for a thousand screen-free hours in a year. If your confidence at work is lacking, then set a goal to complete uh, maybe some kind of of course that can help you um, get back on track for something that you're wanting to focus on. The crucial aspect of achieving these goals is not just what you accomplish, okay? It's the transformation that you undergo, undergo in the process of that while you're trying to reach that goal, okay? So number one, you wanna alter your course. Number two, transform your perspective. So our achievements are inherently limited by our capacity to envision them. And so oftentimes we employ our imagination against ourselves, right? We, we lead those and doing those things leads to self-fulfilling prophecies. So we predict failure. Guess what? Failure becomes a reality. So what if we changed our thinking? What if our thoughts propelled us forward instead of holding us back? How would altering your perspective open up new possibilities? So I often refer to the beliefs that that hinder our progress 
as limiting beliefs. And these beliefs, the beliefs, they typically concern people, the world, ourselves. And so the key is to replace those limiting beliefs with liberating truths. Beliefs that acknowledge reality, but they tell a more optimistic story. So here's an example. Instead of saying, I will never lead a healthy lifestyle, tell yourself this, I have the determination and the resources I need to make lasting changes. So listen to the difference just in that statement right there. The limiting belief, I'll, I'll never lead a healthy lifestyle. The liberating truth, I have the, determina- I have the determination and resources to make lasting changes. Can you hear the difference in that? So trusting and liberating truths over limiting beliefs, it's not going to happen overnight, right? Just like habits, they don't happen overnight, but you can do it, okay? So start by identifying those limiting beliefs and identify those liberating truths. And when those limiting beliefs start to rise up, then you have to counter them with the liberating truths. And the more you do this, the more you're going to transform your mindset, right? Remember this, it's not practice makes perfect. I hate that saying. It's practice makes progress, right? The more you do it, the more it's going to become natural to you. So number two, transform your perspective. Number three, revamp your habits. So Aristotle observed that our character is molded by our habits. Who we are is a product of what we do. Who we are is a product of what we do. So That means it's crucial to examine our habits closely, right? So so what is one aspect of yourself that that might frustrate you the the most? Think about that for a second. Are you late all the time? Uh, Are you flaky all the time? Do you get easily distracted? Do you have anger issues? Maybe anxiety? Maybe you just can't keep promises to yourself? Think about that. What frustrates you the most? And remember that some changes might require you to bring people in with you, right? The support of a team, whether that's a mental health professional, whether that's a faith leader, whether that's a friend, whether that's a a coworker, but you can cultivate new habits and you can replace negative ones with positive ones. Okay. And remember change takes time. It takes effort, but it's worth it in the end. Okay. So, so find a new course, expand your imagination, replace those bad habits with good habits. And remember, like we've already said, you are not confined to the person that you once were. You possess the power to choose a new path and shape who you become. Revamp your habits, okay? I want to say that again. You possess the power to choose a new path and shape who you become. So my next question for you, is what's your next step? And if you need some help with this, I've got a couple resources that I think you will find truly helpful. The first is from one of my favorite authors and goal setting experts, Michael Hyatt. Uh, If you need some help turning your vision for the future into reality, he's got a book, uh, Your Best Year Ever. It honestly is one of the best gifts that you can give to yourself. And I will share the link to that book in the show notes for you. And secondly, If you want to dive even deeper into creating a life that you can look back on with joy and satisfaction, then I highly recommend the Full Focus Goal Setting Course. I have gone through this course myself every year since 2013, every year since 2013. And you, in it, you're going to discover how to set goals. You're going to discover how to reach your most exciting goals. You're going to go through what we just talked about today, like at an even uh, deeper level, but you can do it at your own pace. So it's not overwhelming. And again, I will share the link to that in the show notes. Exciting news from the Central Workforce Development Region and Moberly Area Community College. Introducing our CDL training program, your gateway to a thriving trucking career. In just five weeks, you'll gain the needed skills, experiencing a unique blend of classroom instructions and hands-on driving, ensuring you're prepared for any challenge. And the best part, upon completing the program, you'll possess a CDL and benefit from job placement assistance. Ready to take the wheel of your future? Learn more about our program at cwdregion.com M-A-C-C. Tuition assistance is available for those who qualify, and I will share the link to that again in the show notes for you. All right, so let's do a quick recap of the steps that we need to take to unlock our potential and embrace change. Number one, alter your course. 
Number two, transform your perspective. And number three, revamp your habits. Alter your course, transform your perspective, and revamp your habits. And my friend, you will be on your way to some successful goal setting. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, would you mind sharing it with somebody else that you think could benefit? And don't forget to leave us a review. Let us know what you thought of this episode. It means a lot to us and it helps us stay visible so others can find us. Have a great week, my friend, and we will meet again in the next episode. Until then, remember this, there's always a brighter tomorrow if you're willing to find it. The Central Region Workforce Development Board Incorporated and COPIC are equal opportunity employers and programs. Auxiliary aids and services are available upon request to individuals with disabilities. Missouri Relay Services at 711.